Hi boys and girls, today I want to introduce you to a song called Trey Pock from The Nutcracker. It also goes by the name The Russian Dance, so you may know it by that name, and I bet even if you think you don't know it, once I play a little bit for you, you may have heard it before, because it's just really popular during this time of year. I love this song because it is fast, it's exciting, um, the choreography is incredible. If you don't know what choreography means, that's just a fancy term for the dance moves. It's just a really fun one. And in a second, I'm going to play a clip of this for you from the Nutcracker so you can get a sense of the song. We are using Trey Pock quite a bit today. So um, I just wanted to give you a taste of it. I wanna help you listen through it so that you are ready to jump in with Mr. Edwards when he teaches you some of this in a little bit. <laughs> So now that we've listened to a little bit of the song, I want you to take a look at this listening map. We read it from top to bottom and then across from left to right, exactly like we read a book. Um, and it has all these really fun images here. You'll notice this says A and this says A. And what that tells me is these two sections sound pretty much exactly the same. Um, and you'll also see some violins here. These are higher sounding string instruments, but when we get to B, we know this is gonna be different because it has a different letter. You'll notice that the instrument changes. Does anybody know what this instrument is? It's called a cello. And in music, anytime you have a larger instrument, it's gonna be lower sounding than the little instruments. Um, just like you've seen us play boom whackers in some of our videos, you may have even made some boom whackers. The longer, ones make lower sounds than the little tiny shorter ones. All right, so we are gonna start here. I'm just gonna show you how this works and then we'll listen to it with the music. But this is dun 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 but then these little dolls here it's a different image so it's gonna sound different. We have dun 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 did you notice this sounded just like that. They use the same image. So this part is gonna sound just like what we did here. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, and as we go through this, I'm going to actually point and show you the way. We already know this is gonna be the same, but this is gonna be a little bit louder. We'll talk about dynamics probably another time. And then we get to B. It's the same little guys except they have Kind of a different stance okay they don't look exactly the same so they're going to sound different and this is going to be kind of like a longer little sound here again our little guys and then our longer sound here so this b section is different from what we heard up here in the a section okay um and then we get to the interlude and interlude is when instruments are playing do you know what this kind of instrument is that's a trumpet. And so here you were going to hear trumpets playing, trumpets playing, trumpets playing. And this is what we call a crescendo. And again, we'll talk about this more later, but this just means that it's going to gradually get louder there. So see if you can listen to that. And then what does this remind you of? It's like the beginning, except we're adding an instrument here. And that is called a tambourine. Okay. And then coda is the very end and it's going to be a little bit different there this f is telling us that it's going to be loud and forte and it even has oh i'm going to be so impressed if you know what this is that's a trombone and when you are in fifth grade this might be an instrument that you choose to play when we are back at school and um all together again trombone and trumpet and violins and cellos, they are all instruments that we learn how to play in fourth and fifth grade if you choose to do so. All right, so I'm going to play this song and I'm going to help you follow along. I would like for you to point at your screen as we go along and see if you can keep up with me here. Here it is. 
Here we go. This is the A section. Then the A section again, but a little bit louder this time. I hope you're pointing with me. Okay. Okay. Alright, a little different. Lower string sounds, right? Alright, here we go, trumpet. Tambourine, you know that tambourine? And here's the coda. Faster and louder. Faster. Tambourine. Nice, did you make it to the end with me? I love this one. Again, we are using this a lot today um, because it is so fun and we love the Nutcracker. I hope you enjoyed it.